What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you the games I am most excited for. In terms of upcoming releases, though I did try to keep it to this year and 2025 mostly, because as the dust has settled on all the recent announcements and stuff, and we likely won't get any more until December, it felt like a good time to touch base there, because a lot of the things I had personally been looking forward to all got pushed to 2025, and while there's still some interesting things coming up in 2024, that I'm sure will be fun to take a look at. Most of them aren't really what I would consider the things I am personally the most excited about, which when you run a review channel where you're trying to give an objective take based on a bunch of different games, etc., can sometimes get a little lost in the weeds, which is, of course, what we're doing here. But with no further ado, let's actually go ahead and dive into this thing a little bit. So first up on this particular list, we have South of Midnight. This is an upcoming action-adventure from Compulsion Games, set in the American South, and that is honestly my primary interest in it because this is set in an area of the U.S. that I am personally from and where I live, and a very easy way to get me pretty much guaranteed to check out any game is place it somewhere where I have lived personally. But even just beyond that, this one looks really interesting with its sort of stop-motion looking art style as well as just an interesting look in all of the folklore surrounding the Deep South, I think is certainly going to make for an interesting journey, and I'm honestly just interested in seeing how they capture the essence of a place I personally live. The other half of that, though, is of course the actual gameplay, which they've shown off a little bit of here and there, and it looks to be, I would say, fairly standard action adventure in that regard, so I think just beyond its setting and art and whatnot, it'll be interesting to see if this one manages to pull off anything unique or if it treads pretty well established ground, let's say, but honestly just because it's set where it is is enough to get me excited for it. Next up though we have Clockwork Revolution. Clockwork Revolution is an upcoming steampunk style RPG from In Exile Entertainment, which I'm interested in for a few different reasons. Not least of which, though, is because I desperately want a sequel of some description to something like Arcanum, which Clockwork Revolution, at the very least, seems to nail that sort of steampunk industrial revolution side of things, with the rest remaining to be seen, of course. Now, as I love CRPGs, I'm sure someone might mention that there's also New Arc Line on the proverbial pipeline as well, but New Arc Line is my preferred genre to be sure, however that game is from an unproven studio. Whereas Clockwork Revolution, while a bit of a genre shift in terms of isometric CRPG versus first person RPG, it is, however, from a studio whose work I am familiar with, so there's that. But what is this game actually about? Well, Clockwork Revolution is going to see you traveling through time in a steampunk universe after you stumble upon, effectively just a time machine, which is going to show your character that the city you live in, Avalon, isn't exactly what it seems, or rather that its prosperity has been manufactured by deliberately altering the timeline. Now, unfortunately, we don't know too much besides some very basic gameplay snippets from trailers and things, as they haven't shown off too much of this particular one, which means unfortunately we don't even have like a release timeline for this, so hopefully it won't be too long, as I've been desperate for something to fill that arcanum-shaped hole in my heart since we're almost guaranteed to never get a sequel, even though it is technically possible these days. Though that does bring us to our third entry. One out of left field, I would say for some people, but it is actually the the Alters, an upcoming title from 11-Bit Studios, which is an indie company whose games I'm pretty fond of, but what really sold this one for me was a demo I checked out not all that long ago, showing off what the game is about. Basically, this game is a blend of like action-adventure and survival sort of base-building type stuff where our character, in order to escape a very desperate situation mining resources on a planet, which goes awry, is forced to clone themselves and then get along with all of these different variations of themselves via those clones in order to escape and make it out alive. Now the crux of it here though is that these clones have all been altered slightly, so they're you but with like different personalities and whatnot, and you have to manage all of that while also managing your base building and using those people both as actual people you'll be interacting with and having to manage their emotions and everything, but also literally assigning them jobs and tasks and whatnot. And again, just in playing the demo that they had available for this one, I was a big fan of what they had to offer, and I'm really excited to see if they can fully pull this one off, because it's extremely unique, and I'd love to see where it goes from here. 
This one is actually slated for 2024, so while it doesn't have an official release date, we'll hopefully see it before the year is out. Now, that does bring us to the top two, however, and I will say that these top two I am definitely looking forward to more so than the others, starting with Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Catching up with Henry again to see how his adventure fares as it reaches its conclusion following an admittedly somewhat unsatisfying ending to the first game, but basically... KCD2 here just seems to be the first game, but more and expanded, which is really what I wanted to see from it, because the original game was, I would say, a very janky but otherwise incredible title that had a lot of great moments, and I think if you could sand some of those rough edges and expand those systems, they could be onto something truly great, which is what I'm hoping the sequel here manages to pull off, which so far has seemed to be pretty much what it is from the gameplay cases and things that we've been shown. But everything from the more grounded approach to a lot of RPG mechanics and a real world, actually, to updated systems of how characters view and interact your character, Henry, and putting in the work to build him into the character you'd like him to be, all will, I think, combine to make this a really great one. Now, Obviously, until it's actually in our hands, we won't know that for sure, but basically, KCD2 here is looking to be everything I would want from a sequel to this particular game, which is why I'm looking forward to it so much. But that does bring us to our number one title, which is quite literally number one, because it is the one I am the most excited for, and that is none other than Avowed. Now, Avowed is a game that I had some reservations about initially when they started finally showing more of it, but here lately, with the last couple of times they've shown it, they've proven themselves to be, I would say, very receptive to the feedback of what they've shown and how fans and things have reacted and asked to see more individual bits. They've then come out with that content showing off the gameplay, etc. And those particular videos, especially the most recent one, which showed off a little bit of the world building and how this game will be taking place after Pillars of Eternity 2, which has me really pumped to play this one for myself. Now, honestly, I'll be the first person to tell you. Would I have preferred a Pillars of Eternity 3? Yes, absolutely. But I can appreciate wanting to try new things, and this seems to be a genuine expansion of that universe, which is a universe I loved so much I made a whole lore series about it, and I'm excited to potentially touch on even more lore topics that get brought up in this particular game, which is one of many reasons I'm looking forward to it. But to put it very simply, it's a game set in one of my favorite universes made by one of my favorite game development studios, and it looks better every time I see it, which is why it is my most anticipated game release as of now, which is as good a place as any to wrap up this particular video. That said, I would really love to hear what you guys are looking forward to the most. I think while it's not exactly a quiet time of year by any stretch of the imagination, a lot of stuff did get pushed out to 2025, like for instance, Avowed here got pushed to February 18th to be specific. So I'm very curious to see what everybody's got in mind as we approach the holidays to, I would say, help me solidify exactly what I want to cover when. So do let me know all about that down in the comment section below, which of course means to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.